girl, did you hear Amanda Seals quit the reel? I'm not surprised either, child. We, girl, we do. Mm. It's funny. probably heard by now Amanda Seals she quit the real she made an announcement while on her Instagram live or while talking to someone on a social media profile I will post the audio clip right here I've arrived because my my contract is up at the real and I did not renew it because it doesn't feel good to my soul to be at a place where I cannot speak to my people the way they need to be spoken to and where the people who are speaking to me in disparaging ways are not being handled. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a space where I can, as a full black woman, have my voice and my coworkers also have their voices and where the people at the top are not respecting the necessity for black voices to be at the top too. So, yeah. you know, you reach a point, like even when it just comes to Hollywood in general, you've seen me transform into a way that I just can't function in this place the same way. I can't. Yeah. They play NYPs mm -hmm. in my soil. And the thing is, is it, uh, for me, it becomes a point where it's just, it's not worth it. Like there are, there are roles that you cannot accept because of how a character is being portrayed or because the narrative that's going to be told is not going to be entirely true. So how will it portray my people? What will it represent? What images am I putting out? A thing that we, we fail to really focus on, and I was talking to Thomas about this, is that the way our image is projected, we have no control over our image in media, in news, and, and that is what controls how everybody sees us. The majority of the people in the, the Midwest and these, these rednecks or whatever, they ain't never spent no time around no black people, but constantly pumped into their brain is a message about how how these people lack worth and how they're violent and how you need to be afraid of these people and 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 and, and, and it's it's an element that is uh we if we want to really make a change we have to assert control over our narrative in media and in, in entertainment so that means we have to start making projects a certain kind of way it means even when we want to tell our stories we can't tell them through the same lens that that they want to see you know it's like I, I i can tell you a great story but it doesn't have to be a slave narrative anymore it doesn't have to be couched through the same lens that you're willing to let me make 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 movies through i don't gotta be a gangster i don't gotta be shooting police i don't gotta be there are other ways for me to explore the nuances of my experience okay so after she said that basically she's saying that that wasn't her ministry i mean that was not her platform to say what she really wanted to say because the real is not really letting her be real. But let's be honest about a few things. When Amanda Seals was introduced on being on that platform, some people said, oh, this is great. We need somebody with her point of view on the show. She can voice her opinion. This is great. We need another perspective. We don't need things to be so bubblegum. And then another half of us were saying, maybe this isn't a good combination because that's not what type of platform the real is on so let's be real okay the real is on this network that has limitations on what they're going to talk about they talk about their man problems they talk about makeup they talk about hair they talk about what they ate they talk about how much they don't want men and then they want relationships you know it's just all over the place so i was one of those people that said hmm i could see both sides She's somebody that's strong-minded, somebody that has that education and that background, and she has several other platforms that she voices her viewpoints and opinions, and she has a very strong fan base. Throughout the years, we've seen the production of The Real Show try to fill in that void where Tamar was having some sort of different perspective. They've had guest appearances. They've had you know people that can just show up that have a movie premiere and then they put in their two cents about pop culture and politics and they'll just sprinkle in what they want to talk about but let's be honest the real is the real with limitations amanda is saying that she really couldn't say her view viewpoints and also there was some issues with productions and not really hearing what she wanted to say or what she wanted to talk about 
But then we have situations as that party that Amanda Seals was trying to get into. And we're like, girl, do we believe you? Was you fired? I mean, what really, what really happened? I did do a show in which I talked about, I hope that Amanda Seals isn't perceived as being a narcissist or isn't being a mean or crude or rude person and every time I tried to defend Amanda there was something that happened then there was the party then there was the way that she talked to people during interviews that really didn't get her to you know what did Iyanla say you know your your delivery isn't really uh making your message clear it's the way that you deliver things so her being on daytime television and her being so passionate I was afraid of her being stamped as that angry black woman, right? But the real is not that type of platform to me. It's kind of like, you know, what do you think about racism? It is bad. I mean, how deep can you really get on that show? And also it is not a show that talks about the struggles of people of color all the time. I'm really happy that she did quit because she seems like she's in a more peaceful state. And I don't wanna see people on a show and it's forced because you can start to show that and it bleeds on camera. No matter how much you think you're covering it up or how much that you're dealing with your situation, it bleeds on camera. When people gel together and then there's energy and everybody's bouncing off of each other's opinions and high-fiving and we may have some disagreements but we able to ruckus that up, that's what we wanna see. And it did seem forced and she really didn't seem like she wanted to be there. And that is something that I estimated a while ago. I said, this is great for Amanda, but I don't think it's gonna end well. My pre prediction was that if she didn't quit, there would have been an instant on TV or live television where there was bumping heads on air and I was hoping that that didn't happen so it's kind of like a bittersweet I'm happy that she removed herself before anybody else removed her now there are rumors circulating that she did have a two-year contract um, with them, but she's saying that she's not renewing her contract. We don't know all of that, okay? We don't know the ins and outs of what's going on with her contract or what's what. But what I think we can agree on is that maybe this show really wasn't fitting for Amanda. Now we do have the view, but you gotta think that demographic is way different. You know, that age range is different and they may not talk about the same things that the real may talk about. So it's kind of like, should there be another platform of women speaking? Now I'm a woman and let me tell you, I really want a show like that with men. I mean, I'm tired of hearing women. <laughs> not that as a negative, but I would love to see a show, and somebody gonna take my idea, I would love to see a show where it is men voicing their viewpoints about relationships, about marriage, about children, about work life. That would be refreshing to see. Now I'm gonna go into my thought process of seeing the future and I could take a good guess that the final replacement of who will fill in that seat for Amanda will be no one. It's starting to look a little um, Destiny's Child-ish, you know, when they, the Farrah and then Michelle and Beyonce, it's like, we got all the bad seeds. <laughs> they seem to gel together well. Adrian, you know, all of them, they all seem like they got a combination that works well with them. I think that when they do fill that seat, it should just be for guests. And it should just be for them chiming in and putting in their two cents about what they feel, about what's going on currently. Because if I think if they keep signing and bringing on somebody, it really looks bad. But if they do feel that seat, I do believe that they'll bring in a white woman into that space because 
with surveys and with executive producing, they're probably going to say that is the element that is missing. And why do we need to have all women of color? Why wouldn't it be all women in representing? It's TV. Okay, it's TV and this is only one show. Other shows can be produced. I would love to see a blended panel with men and women. That would be great to, to constantly get both sides all the time, but probably not that show. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they need to have somebody on those times types of shows that can open up that demographic. Let's see what the men have to say. Now, I know this is a male-dominated world that we live in, but it's good to just switch it up a little bit from time to time and, you know, just, yeah. But Amanda will be fine. She has several platforms to speak on. She does acting. She does comedy. She does it all. And I know that she'll be just fine. One side note, though, is that I do think a lot of people feel she needs to work on her delivery and the way that she conveys her messages. But you know, you really can't control people. Uh, she doesn't seem like the type to follow a PR agenda of being politically incorrect. So she'll have her own fan base, but I just hope she doesn't destroy her fan base. I hope it doesn't implode with the ways that she responds to certain things. She's clearly not concerned about her bag. She's getting other bags in different areas. Um, but business wise, I hope that doesn't damper the way other productions may see her that, wow, it's only six months in and you didn't renew. Now, does this mean that she has to record for six more months? And does the production team feel a little salty that she made this public? Was that something that was supposed to be private? You see where I'm going? I really hope that the way that she's handled a lot of things, I hope that doesn't damper her business or damper her name and who she is and then it starts a domino effect of productions and things not wanting to work with her okay so let me know what you think i'm not surprised that this happened at all um leave your comments below don't forget to subscribe and kill that like button share this is a family friendly movie and television show recap channel so you don't have to worry about anything popping up on the page that has vulgarity you can leave it on and you can kids can run all around and they're not gonna hear anything crazy okay check out those playlists for amazing television show and movie recaps as well as health and wellness recaps remember to take care of yourself i have a lot of videos talking about mental health anywho y'all get my drip take care of each other take care of yourself or oh, i'm gonna get my belt all right i don't want to have to hurt nobody up in here last time I'm a team.